Hello. First of all, I want to say a huge giant thank you for purchasing your new Saint palette. I am so excited to walk you through this and help you to fall in love with your new makeup. So I'm going to walk you through step by step by step into how to apply your new makeup along with giving you every tip and trick that you need to make sure that you are going to fall in love with this makeup. So let's do it. Okay. So the first step is going to be making sure that you prep your skin properly. And this is hugely important. I cannot stress it enough. So just a couple little suggestions. Definitely make sure that your skin is being exfoliated at least, you know, once a week or once every other week. You can use a chemical exfoliant, which is something like an AHA or BHA toner, or you can use a physical exfoliant. Uh, I also really encourage you to think about dermaplaning, which is just a fancy way of saying shave your face. We all have little baby hairs on our face and makeup loves to get caught up in those and create that kind of cakey texture. So all you have to do with dermaplaning is find a single blade razor. These are really cheap. You can get them off of Amazon. Happy to share the link. You go in about once a week with a clean face, pull your skin sort of back and just go in downward strokes and you're going to be amazed number one at what comes off of your skin <laughs> number two how much better your makeup looks and three it's really going to help all of your skincare ingredients to absorb so much better do not worry you will not grow a beard you will not grow a mustache the hair does not come back thicker that is an urban legend now it's time to moisturize so this is the saint milk cream which i absolutely love it's one of my favorite moisturizers and it just goes a little goes a long way and it keeps your skin really hydrated throughout the day another great one that i recommend a lot is from la roche posay which is their double repair facial moisturizer so those are my top two but it's so important that you use a really good moisturizer especially with this makeup your skin needs to be hydrated so after i moisturize i go in with a good eye cream and then i put on my spf and then I do not apply any product to my face. You want to wait at least 10 to 15 minutes to let that skincare fully absorb. Because if you go in when your skin is still a little bit tacky, the makeup just is not going to melt. It's not going to blend. It's not going to give you the kind of result that you want. So normally what I will do is do this, follow up with my SPF, and then I will do my eyes. That way I'm not wasting time. I do my brows, a quick little eyeshadow, and then by the time I'm done, I can move on to my face. So I went ahead, I did like a quick little eye, did my brows, and now we're ready to actually move on to the makeup. So you've done your skin prep. Now primer. Saint is a little bit different because it does not mix well with silicone, which is an ingredient that is in a lot of primers. So you need to be careful. Normally I recommend people either just don't use a primer or if they're going to use a primer, make sure that it's silicone free. And I've got a couple that I'll list below in the description that I recommend. Another little great thing that you can do to sort of make sure that the makeup holds really well and control oil is to use a setting spray in place of a primer. So I actually just use my fingers. You could also use a makeup sponge, but I take a little bit of that setting spray and then just tap it into the areas where I tend to get oily. Now, if you've got really dry skin, then maybe you only want to do this in your T-zone. If you've got oily skin, then you probably want to do it all over, but it's really going to help give that makeup something to grip to. So that's a great tip and it really does help your makeup to last so much longer. Okay, brushes. So the two that I recommend are the blend brush and the blush bronzer brush. If you have to pick just one, I would do this one. You can do your entire face with just these two, including eyes if you wanted. So Saint is a little bit different in that it is not a makeup that you want to layer. So normally we think of doing makeup in layers, foundation, concealer, contour, da 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 da. With Saint, it's all going to be applied at one time and blended together and it's a much more natural look. It's also much more dimensional and just flattering for your face. So we want to start with the contour. Now for me, I find the easiest way to apply, especially the contour, is using your fingers because you can feel the bones and the structure of your face and where to place it. So I pick up a little bit on my ring finger. We start at the hairline. If you have got a wider forehead, then you're going to want to contour all the way around. If you've got a shorter forehead, then you're just going to want to contour up here. So, which is what I'm going to do because my forehead is a little bit shorter. Now you can do dots like what I'm doing right now, or you could just do one big swipe. It's just personal preference. Either way works. The next area is going to be our cheekbone. You're going to want to start right up here at your ear. Feel for your cheekbone. You should be able to feel kind of a hard ridge. 
pick up a little bit more contour and you're going to drag your finger down until you come to the end of your eye all right so right there right underneath that cheekbone okay not on top of it but really right there in that little concave area this time i'm just going to do a swipe when you get to that outer corner of the eye just pick up your finger and you contour it now next area is going to be your jawline again come up by your ear and you're going to drag it all the way down until you get to the center of your chin and those are your three contour spots you can also contour your nose but that's optional next is going to be your color corrector i may or may not have recommended this for you just depending on your skin tone and the issues you're dealing with so if i did not recommend a color corrector then you can just fast forward but if I did, here's how you're going to use it. The one that I use is Frenchy. I may have recommended Mango or Aspen for you, but you're going to go to those areas where you have discoloration. So I'm going to place this underneath my eye. I'm going to use the blend brush and pick up a very small amount. Like, look, you can barely even see it. Pick up a little bit more than that. That amount. And I'm just going to come up here underneath my eye and gently blend that. When you first do this, it's going to look a million times worse. It's okay. Again, we are trusting the process <laughs> and then wherever else I have directed you to place the con the color corrector so that might be around your nose around your mouth just wherever you need a little bit of correction all right moving on to step three so step one was contour step two was color correct step three is going to be to brighten and this is where you bring out your brightening highlight so this is what's going to replace your traditional concealer you're going to apply this anywhere where you want to brighten things up again I'm going to use my finger I always like to apply it the outer corner of my eye I like to put it in the inner corner and drag it down along the side of my nose I like to put it right in the center of my face just because it's going to bring light to your face which is going to be flattering all right so we have our brightener placed now what we're going to do is go in and place our main highlight which replaces your traditional foundation step four this is your main highlight now what I like to do is place this in the center of my face because that is where most people need coverage. You don't need a ton of coverage out here and we already have the contour placed out here. So we're already gonna get some coverage from that contour. So I take a little bit on my finger and just dot it around. Now, I also wanna mention if you have any little areas like acne or redness or anything like that, then you also wanna go in and just pin spot conceal those. So like. If you had I've got a little spot down there and she's so pretty and cute mm -hmm. and so what I would do is take my blend brush pick up a little bit of my main highlight color and just tap it right on there all right now we have all of our colors placed on our face and we look like we're ready to go to war I like to now go in and spray my face with setting spray the one that I love is Charlotte Tilbury it's my favorite Doing this is going to help this product to really melt into your skin, but it's also going to lock the product in so that it's not moving throughout the day. It is going to stay on your face. I like to let it sit for about 30, 60 seconds now just to let that setting spray kind of do its work before I go in and blend. I always like to start with the lighter colors first, and for this, I'm going to use the blend brush. So I start up in the under eye area, and I use the smaller end of the blend brush to blend this out. The blend brush is incredible. For working product into the under eye area it is super gentle it's the perfect size it literally just it fits right in that little concave area and i just tap it and blend it and i do blend it all the way up into that temple area because that's really going to help to lift the eye now i used very little product because i used a color corrector so i didn't need a ton of this brightening highlight because i'd already canceled out the darkness if you feel like you need a little bit more that's okay don't be afraid to pick up a little bit more product so right now if you did this and you thought mm, it's still not looking bright enough for me it's okay to go in and pick up a little bit more now i am moving on to the blush bronzer brush which is my go-to brush this is perfection we're going to use the smaller side again i'm going to start with the lighter colors so i start in the center of my face and i just start blending it out now this is really really important when it comes to blending what I don't want you to do is this. Don't drag it because all you're doing is dragging the product off your face. I want you to really practice pushing the product into your skin. So this is called stippling, which is just a fancy word for pressing in something. Just 
press it in and it's going to blend out like a dream cream like i said it melts okay so you don't have to spend a ton of time blending it's really going to do a lot of the work for you all you have to do is push it in just push now we're going to move on to blending the contour and i'm going to do it with the same brush and the reason that i do this is because this brush is going to have a little bit of that main highlight color left over on it and that's great that's what i want because it's going to help the contour to blend out even easier and it's also going to give you a really seamless look because it's going to help it all look like it's just sort of melted together it's one of my favorite favorite tricks for blending out contour now when you're blending out also make sure that you're not dragging this down so don't come and pull it down you want this contour to stay where you placed it so i'm just tapping in a back and forth motion to make sure it's blended a lot of people will put on the contour and they'll start to blend and what they'll do is they'll keep blending and keep blending and keep blending and then they're like oh it disappeared it's not there anymore and it's because they over blended it you don't want to blend it to the point of oblivion right you still you want that shape and that definition so you just want to pat it in and i kind of go in like a little circular motion to diffuse it so that you can still see that shadow okay so everything is blended in it looks beautiful if you've got oily skin or you like more of that matte look then you can go in with a little bit of setting powder at this point which i typically do just because i like more of that matte look i take a powder puff fold it hot dog style pick up a little bit of powder and i always set my under eye area that's a non-negotiable for me just because this area is so thin if it's not set with a little bit of powder it's going to crease it doesn't matter what concealer you use it's just kind of facts of nature <laughs> and then what i do is whatever's left over on that powder puff i don't pick up any additional product i will go in and just kind of press it into the t-zone area next up this is optional but if you like more of that bronze kind of sun-kissed glow then now is when you will go in with your bronzer. So mine is in the shade uh, Bella. You might have a different shade. I flip my blush bronzer brush, that is a mouthful, <laughs> over to the fluffier side, pick up some of that bronzer, and I just do this motion. And now I will go in and just kind of dust it everywhere, to be honest with you. I like to think of going in the number, in the shape of a number three. So, so forehead, hairline, cheekbone, jawline, so like the number three but if i'm being totally honest i'm bronzer holic so i really like it everywhere so i just that's basically what i do dust it everywhere now it's time for my favorite part the very end blush so this is one of my favorites it's summer love there are so many different blush colors to choose from and in your color match form i should have given you at least two different options one for more of a neutral kind of day look and another for a little bit more colorful evening look so with the blush, I again, apply it with my fingers and you want to apply it high up on the cheekbone. So kind of angled at the outer corner of your eye. And I bring it all the way up into that hairline. You can blend it just with your fingers or you can go back with the blush bronzer brush, the bigger end, and just sort of diffuse it like that to give it a really nice soft look. Final step guys, you can also use your lip and cheek color on your lips. So. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, rub it in, and then the beauty of the lip and cheek colors is that you can layer them and mix them and pretty much make any color of lip that you want. So I like to then go in with black cherry, which I know it looks so dark, but it's beautiful on, and I just tap it and bam, it's like the perfect everyday color. And that is it, you guys. That is the in-depth, step-by-step, how to apply your new Saint makeup. So this is the finished result. It's just so pretty, so flattering on the skin. I love it. And my hope is that you will love it too. So if you ordered through me, I am here for you. I am your personal makeup assistant. So if you're having trouble, if anything is not looking right, if the colors are off, please, please, please reach out. You should have my cell phone number in the color match form that I sent back to you. Text me, call me. We can even hop on a Zoom and troubleshoot together. I'm here and I want you to love your makeup. So let me know if you've got any questions.